up y'all it's your girl becca giving y'all a vlog i haven't done this in a minute but today i'm going to a very special place and i want to take you all with me i just got up i did my i showered did my skincare all that good stuff and now i just have to do my hair and do my makeup so if you're interested in knowing where i'm going make sure you keep watching don't forget to hit that like button and of course do not forget to subscribe so keep watching a lot of you have been asking me how I got my hair in the previous styles I've been having on my Instagram and I'm here to tell you the secret that it is clip-ins y'all it is not my hair I've been having my hair in these braids and I'm gonna show you exactly how I achieved this style so I basically have braids in the back and I split them into two sections and braid them in a bunch and overlap them by securing it with a bobby pin. And that's just going to be the base for me to add my clip-ins on top. Now I'm just going to take the clip-ins with the most clips starting out with five and I'm just going to layer them on top of each other making sure that my braids are hidden and making sure that the clip-ins have no spaces so it's well blended. Now you can't really see because of the lighting in the bathroom, but I did have, I did add some color to the clips I'm going to be adding in the front. I did use hair paint wax and I only have like a little bit of leave out and I did add hair paint wax to that part as well so it could blend in with the color. For my leave out, all I used was a leave-in conditioner and some Eco Styler gel, the one in the green jar. And of course, I just braided it and let it dry overnight. And of course, anytime you're taking out your braids, you want to use a oil. So that is what I'm doing now to take out my braids and just to blend my hair so that way it tames the frizz. And if you see any tracks, I just cover it with my hair and I secure it with a bobby pin. And you're just going to do finishing touches and your edges and just uh, cover up any tracks you might see. And that is the finished look. I also forgot to mention you're going to use your braids to cover those tracks that's right next to the braids and of course across from it. So take your braids and a bobby pin overlap it over the tracks making sure that they are not shown and you're just going to hide the braids underneath the clip-ins hair and now we are off to my next location so if you live in south florida you know that the weather is very iffy so it was a very rainy cloudy day and i was annoyed but it was all good i was still gonna make sure that i make the most of it the drive wasn't too bad. So after driving around Miami Beach for like 15 minutes, I finally found parking and I'm going to da -da -da -da, pray little things. It's so crazy because I drove past this place last year on New Year's Eve and now I'm actually going inside the store. It's crazy. So when I got there, the security guard asked who I was I told him who I was there to see and when I walked in I had to just check in my name just to let the girl know my Instagram and everything to make sure I was legit and they said that I could create content there I can do any content I want so I did like a bunch of pictures videos which y'all will see the behind the scenes for and they said I could pick out three 
items. So you know my birthday is in like two weeks. So your girl was making sure she was on the prowl for her birthday dress and just like extra items that I could wear for my birthday week which you guys will see on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me so you can get all the tea. So we're in Pretty Little Things right now, and I'm gonna pick me an outfit for my birthday because my birthday is in two weeks. And yeah, so let's see what we got here. There were so many cute items to choose from and I actually found my birthday dress and I'm super excited. So basically, in order to get into the Pretty Little Things showroom, you have to be an influencer and they do invite you out. I was so happy when they finally decided to reach out to me because I was just like, how do I get inside the store? And then they were just like, hey, slid in my DMs, you know, all cute and stuff. And I was like, yeah, definitely I wanna show up. and. That's what happened, and the rest is history. You just gotta watch the video and find out. Okay, so this looks like a ball. All right, so let's get some of my video regular. Say bye. So now, Sheba, my photographer, is going to take photos of me in this beautiful area right here. There's plenty of places to take photos, which I love, because you know your girl loves taking photos. I definitely want to do like a dancing video right here by the Pretty Little Thing sign. And they have the unicorn right here. So I'm just going to show you behind the scenes of my photos. Right now, I'm just taking more photos because I really love this area and I'm so glad that I was invited. I actually manifested working with Pretty Little Things and being invited to the Pretty Little Things showroom in Miami. And I definitely want to manifest that I'm going to be invited to their Fashion Week next year because I really want to be invited to Fashion Week in New York. 
And I definitely want you guys to know what the photos turned out to be like. So if you follow me on my Instagram, you will see all the photos there. So yeah, I'm done shooting content here. We're about to get going. I got some, huh? And yeah, I had so much fun. So, ooh, thank you. Got some drinks before I go. So, so cheers.